How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing a little speed run of drawing a triangle with OpenGL from scratch here. So I'm just going to launch a terminal and we're going to dive right into it. First of all, I'm going to change directory into where I keep my source files and I'm going to make a directory called, I'm just going to call it try. And we find it now. Let's go into try. And we are going to be using a few quick little prerequisites here that you'll need to have ready to go. We're going to be using GLAD as the extension loader for C++ and I believe I just used GL version 3.3 and downloaded it, downloads it as a zip. We're also going to be using GLFW. I have that installed through my repo so it's like a sudo zipper install lib glfw3.dev or something like that. Uh, so you'll just want to install that. And of course, we're going to be using CMake as our build system to make our make file. And if we need any help with uh, OpenGL, there's always the reference pages. So I think that's pretty much everything as far as sources go. So we're going to get that set up. We do need to get the GLAD built into our source file here. So we're just going to make a few things. We're going to we're going to make a well, CMake file. So you make lists.txt. We're going to go and make a main. We're going to have our core program and then we need that glad.c file. Now I have that in my download so I'm just going to copy it over. So I'm going to copy dot dot slash downloads and then in source there is glad.c. Of course you can do this through file explorer and I'm going to copy it into my current directory with that dot at the end there and boom now we should have that glad.c. Okay, so now we're mostly ready to go. There's just one more thing I want to mention real quick. I'll open another one of these. And that is uh, that I moved the header from GLAD into my user file. Uh, I'll just show you. So it's like um, from my root directory, you go into user, include, and then I have GLAD. And then there's this .h. So this is available to all my projects all the time. It's the point of there and you have to do like you know a pseudo force copy whatever I'm not gonna explain all that but just so you know that's where I'm getting the header from it doesn't like install you have to move it there manually so a big FYI all right so let's get into it what do we want to make first our main or our C make that's all we got to do is make both of those we'll do our main first because that's like the meat and potatoes of this bad boy I'm gonna use by go in insert mode and we're gonna go include glad slash glad dot h then we're going to go include glfw, glfw3.h, and then we're going to go int main. I'm probably just going to do this all in one go, and let's go ahead and type up our main. We're going to go glfw init first of all to get that initialized, and glfw window star, I'm just going to call it w, and we're going to just jump right into it, glfw create window. And then we got to give it some dimensions. We're just going to make it 600 by 600. We're going to call it this. And these other two options can be null. One of them's for like flip monitor, and the other one's for shared, and we don't care, so we're just null. And then we want to go glfw make context current, and the current context is going to be that window. And uh, there's nothing else super important here other than we need to go glad load gl loader and that's just basically con uh, i'm not sure how to explain this exactly off the top of my head but basically it makes it so that gl can see the screen and operate its functions onto it through this glad extension loader all right and we'll, in here we're going to need another set of parentheses for glad load proc and then over here we need glfw get proc address. I know it's some weird some weird syntax but you have to do it with glad in order for it to work. And then we're all done getting that all set up so the next thing we need to do is make some points for this triangle we want to draw. We'll just make a float called T or it's going to be an array of floats. It's going to be nine but we'll just leave it blank because it'll figure that out by the constructor here. So we need our points. We're going to go let's see we want one at kind of the bottom left so we'll go negative 0.5 on the X and negative 0.5 on the y, then a zero. And then the next point is going to be, let's see, we want to be up, up a little bit, but zero on the x, 0.5 on the y, zero on the z, and then the next one we want it to be at the bottom right, so it's going to be over 0.5 on the x.
negative 0.5 on the y and is 0 on z once again and that should do it so that's going to be a float array with nine things in it and we need to be sure we close that with a semicolon otherwise it's going to complain and now we just want to go ahead and start putting that right into OpenGL and I want to make this a little bigger I should have done this sooner probably okay so to get this into OpenGL first of all we need an unsigned int so we're going to be uint32 we're we'll just called v it's going to be a vao we only need a single one so uh, we're doing it in a really simple way here and then we're going to go gl gen buffers one buffer and pass in that v so it can assign it its id so we can access it and then we go gl uh, bind buffer and it's the one we just created then we're going to go ahead and push the data with buffer data and we need to tell it what kind of oh, this bind buffer also needs gl array buffer needs to know what kind of buffer because there are other kinds of buffers and for the buffer data also needs to know what kind of array buffer and then we need to tell it all about the data and uh, there's a little hack you can use here we go size of our array there which will give us the size and bytes of the entire array and then we also but uh, that's not it. That's not what we want exactly. We actually want nine. We want how many elements. But to do this, there's no easy function. But you can use this little formula here: size of t times size of t divided by size of the first element in t, and that should return the proper size. And then the next thing we want is we want a pointer to the first element, which we can do with that syntax there. And then next up here, I think we want uh, GL static draw. Just needs to know that, and that's it for the buffer data. And now we just need to set up that vertex. So we go GL vertex a trib pointer. And uh, this is the one that always slips my mind a little bit, so I'm going to be a little slow and type this one as I crunch it out. Let's see. Oh, it's the first one, so it's zero. It's three elements per point. GL float, you know what type, and GL false, whether it's normalized or not. I believe that's what it is. And then here, we need the size of each piece of data. So it's, they're all floats, so size of float. And last but not least, it's where this vertex uh, piece of data start, starts, which is right at the beginning. So it's void star zero. And uh, I don't want to explain that too much, but basically all it means is we're starting at the beginning of this data. Sometimes you can have more parts of data in here, like you have colors and normals and stuff, and that's where this would change uh, if you have more. But we only have one, so it's just that's all. And then we need to go enable vertex a trib array. I believe that's right, and it's a it's the first, it's zero, and which correlates with that number that's highlighted right there. All right, and there we go. We got it all buffered there. Now we can go into our while loop. And we're going to keep in our while loop while the window should be open. While glw while window should close. I'm going to pass it our window so it knows what I'm talking about because glw can have multiple windows. And we just need to do our thing here. We do need to do a clear of our color buffer bit. Buffer bit. That's just to wipe the screen every draw. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think it needs further explanation. Then we just need to draw GL draw arrays, and it's already bound and set because it's the only one. So, uh, oh yeah, this is GL triangles, uh, comma, and then it's zero and three. Uh oh. Now I've encountered the bug where I've locked up Vim. This happens all the time with Vim. Vim. Twenty years. So, let's make our CMake file. Yeah. Okay. Project name needs to be capitalized. Got it. So we do make. Have one problem with the include glfw slash gl. Okay, we missed an h there. Okay, uh, we need enable vertex a trib array, so we just need the word vertex in there. Oops. Enable 
Vertex Trip Array. And cannot find LGL. So I was right the first time. This is capitalized. And it built. And it draws. So it draws down there. That's not where we wanted it. Oh, we, did, we didn't do GL viewport. So it's uh, viewport is something default. So that's probably why it's doing that. So what we need to do is go, before we go into this main loop somewhere, we need to go GL viewport, whatever the size of our window was, 600 by 600. So crash that, rebuild it, doesn't like it. Oh, we need to say where it starts. Starts at zero, starts at zero. Exactly. The so same. this right here is the stride, and it is the size of a float times three. So the stride is the size of three floats at a time. So that should do it. Yeah, there we go. All right, and we are done. We've drawn a triangle. We've suffered through the pain of them. We've got this all done. There's our final code. There's our final CMake.